r slash off my chest. Long jumping art 1836 says. I hate being trans. I can't stand it anymore. I literally just want to exist. I don't do anything wrong. I transitioned when I was 20. In an adult I should be allowed to make this decision. I don't correct anyone on my pronouns, or insist they see me a certain way. I don't ask for special treatment I just try to keep my head down and live. But my uncle hates me, and I didn't even tell me I'm trans, but he figured it out, and he sent abusive calls to my parents because of it. Everyone hates us, like everyone, even people who say they like us secretly they loathe us. Everyone hates us, I can't escape the hate, I see it everywhere online. Twitter, Reddit, YouTube, Facebook, news articles, forums, anywhere someone can type a reply essentially. I'm sick of it, they all think we are mentally ill pedophiles, and that we control everything, and that we hate free speech. They think that we're pedophiles and they want us dead. They think we look ugly, and they look for us, and abuse us in public. I can't do this anymore I hate it. I don't want to detransition I would rather die, but I don't want to keep on living this way either. I know a lot of the people reading this also probably hate me, I don't know what you want me to do, all I can say is you won I guess. Throwaway054043 says. I don't hate you, in fact, I look up to you. I'm a CI's male, and wished I had a friend like you. To me, you're another human being in this frick up world that needs respect like the rest of us i realize there's a lot of hate in this world and someone always has to point a finger at someone and put the blame on them frick them you're the better person most of us have your back i know that is a fact hang in there and please keep tough edit and i suck with words but i try aconite cj says as a trans person you did good Thanks for being awesome homie. Stock original 1999 says. My daughters have trans friends and gay friend and they are in high school and we love them. These kids are so brave and mature. They are always welcome in our house. Not everyone is awful, I think they are just scared of change. I'm hoping this mentality changes soon. Please only interact with kind people xx. I see Sky7521 says. Find the queers and punks. We love trans people. Half of my social circle is trans. Fishal Riyad says. Er gonna find her people. Amelia Pond Live says. I don't hate you. You're struggling and you don't deserve to be. The world shouldn't be the way it is. Society should be better, in so many ways. I'm sorry. I wish there was more I could do to help. Just please keep existing. Keep going. Love, a CIS queer internet woman, 3. R slash off my chest. Cautious listen 602 says. Just found out my stepdad was recording me from the age of 9. I'm in absolute shock right now. My stepdad was terrible, and I haven't lived with him, since I was 16, I'm 20 now. A few weeks ago, when I was last home from uni my mom said something weird to me about cameras in the old house. I've always had a weird feeling in that house, that I was being recorded, because I knew he had a camera in the dining room. I'm back from uni again, and I'm on my mom's laptop, and I was looking for something about the cameras. I found a string of messages to a mutual friend they still have because they're in the divorce process now. I found out has been recording me in my room and in the bathroom since I was 9. That's how old I was when I moved into his and we left when I was 16. I literally feel like I can't process this information. My dad had just died when we moved in. And over the years I viewed him like a dad, even though he was horrible he was the closest thing I had, and we still HD some nice memories. I feel like the last shred of what I considered to be happy memories of my childhood has been destroyed. 
my mom knew too, in these messages she's talking about how I don't need to know, and she'll never tell me. I'm in absolute shock. I called my friend, but she had to go to a lecture quickly, and I just have no one else I can talk to about this. What the, frick, do I do? I don't think there's any point in reporting now, because has probably got rid of all the evidence, but I don't know how to emotionally process. I think I'm going to leave my mom's house before she gets back from work or something. She literally knew. This is all over the place, but I don't know how to cope with. Stagio74 says. Please take the evidence with you. Take the computer and go. I don't know if legally this is a crime, but it may be. Find funny 6956 says. It is definitely a crime to record child nudity. Thunder Jack Jack says. Save the evidence and go straight to the cops. Cautious listen 602 says. It's only text messages though does that even count as evidence when it's just my mom saying it. Thunder Jack Jack says. Honestly, I don't know, but it must count for something. He's sick after do that, and he needs to be reported. If that happened to my daughters. Well, I'd get a bit angry. Sorry this happened to you. Unity Bizach, Ford says. Take the laptop to the police. They may then have to do a search of the house to gather more evidence. I'm so sorry he did this, I hope your mother isn't still with him. For the forgettable says. You can report him for having child porn. Anytime you were undressed in your room or bathroom on camera would count as an offense. Please tell the authorities. R slash off my chest. Breathing thing one says. TW, can't have sex with my BF. I was raped few years ago. After that I was hypersexual, and I didn't understand that what happened to me was rape. I felt guilty, and tried to push it away, didn't think of it or understand it, but cried every night about it. I don't remember when I realized that it was rape, but when I started to date with my BF I told him about it, and we have tried to process it. He has helped me a lot with that, but the problem is, that I don't think I can ever have sex again. We had a lot of sex in our first year, now we have been together for 4 years, but when I started to heal myself, process rape and symptoms of it, I can't have sex. My boyfriend is very understanding and he says that there's nothing to worry about, he understands and he is. Not assuming that I can have sex right Bo. But once he said that take your time, explore yourself first, and then someday, when you are ready then we can have sex. Nothing to hurry about. But what if I can't have sex ever? I don't want to have a journey where I try to explore myself alone and learn my sexuality. I don't want to try to heal to that point where I can have sex. I want to heal and want to be able to have sex. But at the same time, I don't want to touch myself, I don't want to do anything sexual. I don't want to start healing with that IDKY, but I don't want anything to do with my genitals etc. Do you guys, have any advice or experience? Have you ever been at the same place, and how did your sex life has been? Thank you. Yeet Mamit 4 says. I'm no expert on your exact situation. What I can say, is your duality on this is not helping. Even if you need professional help, you need to make a course of action and stick to it. You can't heal, and be able to have sex, while also doing nothing, and never wanting to touch yourself or be touched. Sudden Extreme 2272 says. Hi babe, I have CPTSD from being raped, and other sexual assault slash abused during my teens. I'm not 23, I go through stages of being very hypersexual then other stages of not wanting sex at all, I've just had 2 years of now sex or sexual contact from anyone but myself. Just take your time, maybe it won't come back and that's okay, there's no time frame for healing and it likely won't happen all at once. Be gentle with yourself, if sex doesn't interest you right now that's okay, there are other ways to show intimacy without sex. 
your boyfriend seems really supportive, and seems to be respecting you and your boundaries, have you talked to him about your worries about not wanting to have sex again? Have you considered any type of therapy? I have recently completed a course of CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, and it was life changing. R slash off my chest. Western Glass 7731 says. I regret not losing my virginity earlier. I 22 female, waited until my last year of college to have sex. I would describe myself as an extremely anxious person, and throughout college I often felt myself almost having sex with someone, and then panicking and backing out, before anything could happen. In my final year of college I finally found myself in a situation, where I was able to push through the nerves and sleep with someone I really liked. I ended up dating this person and we are still together months later. Once I had done it, I soon realized how not a big deal it was, and I felt extreme regret for not having more fun in my first year of college. I feel like I've wasted time, that I can't get back, and feel extremely resentful over that. I also feel jealous hearing about my friends wild stories from that time. This is something I want to get get off my chest, and I also would like to seek advice for how to not feel so resentful over this. How do I stop feeling angry for staying within my comfort zone throughout college, which is supposedly the craziest and wildest time of people's lives? Randomman823 says. I mean there's pros and cons for both waiting and not waiting. You are still only 22 so is not exactly a long wait, but it's really not something you should be hard on yourself about. Just focus on the present, and what's going on now, will only make you sad thinking about ifs and buts of the past. Gorilla Cannibal says. You're lucky that you waited to do it with someone you liked, and someone who is still important to you. If you're still dating this person, you shouldn't be thinking about all the people you could have slept with. They shouldn't matter to you. Challenge accepted 9 says. Are you kidding? You waited and had your first time with someone you really liked, when the time was right. If there was a textbook way most people wish they could have lost their virginity, this would be it. The grass really is always greener. Simply Passin Thrau says. I cannot express how much I wish I had a single stable relationship with someone through college. You are not missing anything special. Sex gets better as you age, because it brings experience, trust me when I say, you did not miss anything wild and crazy by not sleeping with college boys. If anything, you missed out on honesty experience. If you felt anxious about sleeping around, you would not have enjoyed sleeping around, and you cannot change it now anyways. Communicate with your partner on expanding your sexual experiences, everything you can do with him, you can do with any other guy too. There's a few exceptions with conflicting, kinks or something obviously, but that's why communication is important. Stop looking back, there's nothing but memories there now, and regret ruins memories. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.